All right, we're going to try this. We're going to do a little experiment called How Long Can I Make a Video Before It Gets Interrupted? <laughs> Not very long. Well, what I've got here is water soluble graphite, and I hope to show you a few little um, tricks to get some good results out of it. First off, um, well, this particular one is a uh, woodless. This one's an 8B. It really doesn't matter what tone you're going to use. It really doesn't matter if it's woodless or not. But um, one little hint, if you do have a woodless one, get one of these sharpeners with a catch-all in it because those little grains of graphite in there, you can you pour them dry on the paper or you can stick a wet brush in there and it gives you more graphite. Now, the first thing to remember with water-soluble graphite is water. Approach it like you would approach um, doing a watercolor painting. What I started with is using a um, regular pencil, hard pencil, or fine pencil like you would do with any watercolor painting. Lightly sketched what I needed to get this face going. And then I came in and I did some of this shading work with the water-soluble graphite. Now it might look like I have underworked this picture, but because it is water-soluble graphite, it's going to do a few things like watercolors do in watercolor pencils, and I'm going to try and show you that. Okay, but what I've done is I've gone in with the very darks. It's our friend Goth Barbie here. Goff, Barbie, G-O-F-F. I've gone in, done, um, you can see some of the places where it's going to be very dark. Already put that in dark. I know I want my blacks there, or almost blacks, whatever you're going to get out of your pencil. And then I've gone in and I've go done where there's going to be heavy shading. But I've left out, there's going to be areas, especially in this part of the face, that are not as heavy. And because uh, the brush is going to do the work. You can use a regular watercolor brush. I, in particular, are, am using um, a couple of water pens. That one's a medium. This one's a little more of a fine point. And so I'm going to go in, and I'm actually going to start here with the dark areas, with activating them. And there goes the distraction. And didn't take long, did it? I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just activate these little areas. I have over here, you can't see it on the side, I have a, a rag I'm wiping the brush on. That's how I trim my brushes. Don't pay too much for these. Um all the arting I've done in my life, I never really got any uh no real lessons and no real experience with uh the difference between, you know, well not like super cheap brushes, but with um, you know, budget brushes and really fine brushes. I'm not gonna go out and spend, you know. A lot of money on a on a paintbrush, treat it the way I treat it. But um, with the wiping off, I'm get, I'm taking off excess pigment because you will get. So you can see here. Hopefully, you can see a little bit. The irises are not as dark as the pupils. And I've got a little bit of pigment on my brush. I'm gonna go in here. This part was not colored, but I want to get a little bit of pigment on it. Again, like with a watercolor, if you have an area, like a highlight or something, that you want to keep white, absolutely white, you know, either, you know, keep that dry or put masking fluid on it or something, but then that very little pigment on this brush, and I can go in, and I can get a wash effect. That is one of the neat things over here. There's going to be another little highlight, but it's not white. So we're going to go in, I'm going to activate that a little bit. And I'm going to switch to the bigger brush. Still just working off what I initially laid down here. This is another thing I do with the water pens is I shake them a little bit to get them, get the water flowing. Yeah, you know, this. The graphite, when you get doing big areas like this, it likes to pick up the strokes. A little bit of 
squeezing. You see? I mean, it would almost do the same thing with using a regular water brush you can get. This going, we're going to activate this area. May it look a little inky. And one of the things you do have to do is you have to let it dry a little bit. So there might be some cuts in this video while we wait for some of these areas to get a little more dry. But it, dry, it dries fairly quickly. A little more shaking. You know, shake these brushes, get a little bit of water. You can squeeze them. Don't know if it picked up the bubble noise. I've still got, let's see, I've still got pigment on this brush. Because this is something you can also do with the watercolor pencils. For pig see, there's still pigment on here. And look at that. Just spread it around. It's going to give you a nice wash. Again, like watercolors, this will work in layers. That's the first thing. Treat it like, like it's watercolor. And it's a little too much there. But it'll also, it will lift. It's probably going to go back in and lift it. But right now, I'm just activate the first layers. Try and be careful because I want this side of the face to not have anything on it. I want it to be white. Like I said, it should be a little smoother. So you can go into it when it's damp. But remember when we started this was compared to some of the other pictures I've seen this was very underworked. Not that much pigment on it. a little bit like a watercolor. Got pigment on there, squeeze the brush, put some more water on it. And we're gonna put some more tone in here. The shadows on the source image are really that sharp. This is out of the, the Fascination Street video. <sighs> i wipe the brush off because I want to take some of the pigment off his nose. So this going in, still a little damp. Going to go in with a wet brush. Going to lift like you would with watercolor. This in here needs to be a little more gentle. We've done this round. And really from here, activate this side of the head, his hair over here, which we'll get to later. From here you would uh, give it a couple minutes, let it dry. And maybe work in a few more shadows, give yourself some landmarks, but Look how quick that was. And look at the, uh, just a little bit of pigment, just a little bit of activation. It's a bit sharp for the contrast, but it worked. <laughs> 